All right, YouTube, what is good? It's your boy at PJ Scooter Mods. In today's video, what we're gonna be doing is breaking down this Bird 3 battery pack. Now, this applies to the Bird 2 and the Bird 3. If you have either or, this video is for you. This is something you're trying to do. In my case, what I'm gonna be doing, since this battery pack is still good, it's maybe at 38 volts. I'm not too sure, I haven't tested it yet. I know for sure these battery cells are still good, so what I'm gonna do is harvest them and reuse them since they're good and you know they haven't really been through a lot of strain and a lot of stress let's go ahead and start by removing these three rods you can't see them but underneath these putty dots there's three of them there's three rods one going down this way in the center and right here at the end and what they do is they hold together this back part together just using a flathead something small and too big or else it's not going to fit inside Now you just want to dig in the putty or if it makes it easier you can remove the putty that way you can see what you're doing for me i just dig it in there and you can feel the grooves you can hear it break free while i'm spinning you want to hold this back end since you see that it's lifting out of place it'll lift so high that it'll start free spinning so you want to hold that in place while undoing this All right, now that that's done, you can pull this back end out and there goes rod number one. Repeat the same process, move to this side or this side. Just like before, you see that it's sticking out. Pull out your rod. And now we have one remaining. Hold this down and unscrew. Now that we have our rods removed, Let's go ahead and remove this tape. Free this, as you can see, and just take it off of these wires, just like so. Now let's go ahead and check our voltage. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my positive and my negative to the positive and negative on this BMS. Thirty-six point eight volts on this battery pack, so the batteries are still good. We're gonna go ahead and harvest them. Now while we have this off. We have two screws on this BMS we need to remove and they are right underneath this putty right here and right here. So now let's lay our battery pack down and what we're going to do is remove these yellow covers on both sides. So notice that I got right underneath, right on top of this plastic ledge. Careful not to poke these batteries because that's the last thing you wanna do. And after this is in, you just wanna pry up. Now we flip it over and do the same thing. Now 
what you want to do is remove these little temperature wires. Now they're not soldered down or anything. You just want to break them free from this putty. Just unravel them from being in this little groove. Just like so. Flip it over and do the same thing. Get our battery pack stood back up. Work on removing the BMS. What I'm gonna start by doing is removing these nickels here that are holding it on the sides. While I do so, while wearing gloves, I'm going to be applying pressure upwards. That way they can break free as I unsolder the tabs. So let's go ahead and do that. Notice with my right hand, I'm using leverage to push up on the BMS board while unsoldering with my left hand, these solder joints, which allows for easier access, helps it pop right out of place, as you can see. So we have our BMS board removed. Just remember that you want to remove all these wires on the side and these two screws right here before you try breaking these tabs off and lifting up. Because if you don't do all this part, then you're going to break your wires right here and you're going to break your BMS board somewhere along the way because these screws are holding it down. So after you do that, remove those tabs just the way I did. Lift up on it and you'll notice that it'll start lifting up as you go. Now let's go ahead and get these broken into small sections. Using a pair of snips is gonna make the job a whole lot easier. Now let's go ahead and break these tabs free. One, two, three, and then these three and then so forth. Flip it over and do the same thing. Got my batteries undone. Now I'm gonna just demonstrate on one of these little sleeves on how to remove the welds and open this up and save you guys the time on having to do the rest of them. So I'm gonna just start this one that we guys can have an idea on how to do it and you guys can go from there. Let's jump into it.
using that same flathead that I've been using throughout the whole video, we're gonna remove two screws right here and right there. Now let's test the voltage. By the way, this flat part is gonna be your ground and this little pointy part is gonna be your positive. 3.67. Three point six eight, three point six seven, three point six seven. All right, so there it is. Now I have a total of sixty eighteen six fifty battery cells, twelve of them in each slot. That's it, fellas. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you found the video useful, please be sure to smash that thumbs up.